is not what it seems. Alex answering. Outside the box. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is January 30th, 2011. And we're going to be with you live over the course of the next hour. Tonight I'm joined by special guest, a new PCM producer, Alex White. Thanks for coming on. Nice to uh, be on the show. So you're new to PCM, and you're going to start producing some uh, stories, some uh, programs. Tell us a little bit about some of the shows you're going to do. Uh, yeah, um, it's going to be a uh, kind of a new new age look at uh, SNL in Portland. I know we got the Portlandia thing going on and everyone's kind of hyped about that, mm -hmm. but uh, it's definitely going to be a, um, a, a SNL version of SNL that, that talks about real issues and, and actually delves into the, you know, the, the root problems in this country and the world. Yeah, that's good. So I'm looking forward to that. And PCM, I'm grateful PCM's still around. Oh, for sure. A couple years sure. ago, I was pretty nervous the way things looked with the Comcast uh, expansion. Definitely. I've also heard that they've merged with uh, another corporation. And so uh, the fact that we're here, able to produce shows like this, it's something to, it's basically a victory. Yeah, it's a gift, honestly, yeah. So you're going to be with me tonight. We're going to talk about a lot of different stuff. You've also been looking at Egypt. Mm-hmm, for sure. And it's, you see uh, some of the reports coming out, some firing on protesters this week. Yeah, for sure. It's uh, I saw one like I was telling you earlier that uh, it's it's amazing the the just what people can capture just with a simple you it's know video how camera. Stuff's going on right now. Exactly. Yeah, it's I mean, ten cold. We'll, we'll cover a couple uh, basic facts here just to begin this conversation. 150 dead as Egypt tilts towards lawlessness. Egypt was in the grip of a increasing uh, lawlessness on Sunday as gangs of armed men helped free thousands of prisoners and looters rampage malls, banks, and jewelry stores. Even as many uh, uh, as many army men uh, doffed uniforms to join the uprising against the president, uh, Mubarak's 30-year uh, rule that has claimed at least 150 lives in six days. Um, we see this one here, China blocks Egypt searches on microblogs. And the interesting thing about Chinese censorship um, is the fact that it's not limited to China, it's our own country as well. Definitely. I heard a, a report that said that they were also, uh, I don't know if it was uh, um, outside of Egypt, the Egyptian government, but the Egyptian government themselves were, were actually censoring all of the, like, Twitters and They shut Facebook. down the internet. Yeah. That's, that's very key. So this is, this is important to understand and take a look at what's going on in Egypt, but also pay attention to the victories of where the people do come together and resist tyranny in their own way. In this case, we see people uh, in the military in Egypt that are also against uh, the president. For so in sure. some cases, well, we have a video here we're gonna play. Let's go ahead and uh, kick this off tonight, Bill, with track number one. Um, this is one of many, many YouTube videos where you can see what's going down uh, on the ground in Egypt. And um, there's some sort of a conflict here between the protesters and the police. It's here around 9 a.m. on Saturday, uh, January 29th. Egyptian police attempted to clear the square. Police fired shotguns into the area to announce their uh, presence. The protesters moved to challenge the police in the center of the town, in the square. Then the Egyptian military arrives and moves in between the protesters and the police. This is intense footage, isn't it? Oh, for sure, and it's 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 crazy when you think about uh, how how this can how this can happen and how you know aspects of this has happened you know in our past just it, in our country. So. The way the way I look at this and other protests, and we are kind of getting numbed to a lot of protests and riots because so many for different sure. places. But this is this is fairly intense. Yeah, involving a lot of people, and so it's it's fairly important to study protests and of course the aftermath and uh, be aware also of how groups like the CIA try to hijack revolutions as well. Oh, We've seen that sure. in Iran. Yeah. They, yeah, well, there, there hasn't been a, a government in the last 100 years. What does Obama say in Biden? They support uh, uh, they, this regime in they, Egypt. They, actually, what I heard um, was uh, was fairly telling. They uh, they said that they have support for all allies, uh -huh. and that they all allies, yeah. that they do not um, they not do not officially support Mubarak himself, but that support they support their allies. And <coughs> Egypt is, of course, one of their. Looks allies. like this video was shot from maybe a window. Yeah, I'm uh, sure. it's always good to have a camera. Yeah, I mean, and, and there were uh, there were reports about Al Jazeera being harassed by the Egyptians as well. We've seen an increase on attacks on journalists when protests are taking place, especially within this country. Yeah, I've, yeah, I've, I've known a, a few people who have gotten arrested for just simply, you know, being out filming what, what needs to be shown to the rest of the world. And 
and it's crazy. They, you know, the, I, I've seen a thing about the School of Americas where they came in and, and, and brought buses in and basically just filled the buses up with journalists and didn't tell them, you know, took away all their rights pretty much, didn't oh, tell them where they were going. What are we seeing here? It seems like this, this officer here is trying to prevent the protesters from moving close to the police. It looks like they're trying to keep the peace to a certain degree and prevent things from completely melting down, but we've already seen hundreds of people shot already, and all this does is escalate the tension, so it's not exactly um, a simple task to quell an uprising when people are getting killed. Yeah, and you got to, uh, you definitely have to, to, to look at the aspect of, uh, of what are these people mad at, you know, why are they uprising, and, and, and what... But uh, it's, all right, hit pause, but it's certainly the sign of the times. Exactly. Revolutions exactly. in the air. People For are sure. actually feeling this organic resistance in their bodies, in their cells, and it's manifesting in so many different ways. Yeah, consciousness is definitely at a whole new level right now. For sure, it's 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 definitely. Now we've definitely got we've bigger. got another bombshell revelation that's coming up in the next uh, track. Um, as we see things unfold more and more within our own country, we see our own government inviting other governments and their troops, some hardened troops from Afghanistan and Iraq, for, say, example, uh, Polish troops to come to the United States and say a city like Chicago, this is the clip, let's roll it, uh, track number two. And this is confirmation that these things are going on, but it's like that old fable, hey, if a tree falls in the forest, who hears it? And no one's around <laughs> to hear it. Uh, if someone doesn't report on something, did it actually happen? Uh, well, here we have a couple independent journalists from the Alex Jones crew, they have uh, gone into Chicago here at, uh, this is uh, back in the summer. And Bill, let's go ahead and roll track two. And so there's, there's it, it reminds me of Top Off 4 quite a bit, the drill the that I went to in 2007. The program for the Illinois National Guard. Uh, and minus and the foreign Darryl troops. From the uh, but there were internationalists, at least 10 groups involved in Top Off 4. Uh, we're here they just weren't uh, in, uh, visual. Homeland Security exercise. We'll be working on military support to civil authorities as part of a terrorist scenario where they have a biological weapon. Again, this is uh, last summer. Major Lejak and the Polish Armed Forces uh, have a partnership program with the Illinois National Guard. Uh, we do cooperative training and exercises. And cooperative training. It's been very beneficial to uh, both of our services in helping us develop. Yeah, and you got to wonder how, uh, the you know, who's, today and what who's dollars getting put down to, to train these folks? Because I heard uh, reports that said that we paid for every penny of, uh, of, we'll of just, you know, simple things like, you know, having the, the Chinese president or, or right. come in, and we paid for every penny of that. So you got to wonder. A lot of money's gone to Georgia as well to yeah, try to have conflict with Russia. Exactly. Look at all these dead bodies. You see, incrementally, Look, hey, folks, them. death is coming. You just might as well accept it. It's not a matter of if, but when. We've, we've got to get prepared. We've got to integrate these security forces, these mercenaries. Look at this guy here on the left. He's about to say a few words. National Guard cooperating with civilian authorities. Let's pan up the audio, uh, Bill, in the video and take a closer look. We only fall under a civilian incident commander because we're in the States. Uh, we respond to their needs, their requests. Uh, we're basically a force provider and bring specific skills uh, to the table to assist local law enforcement and civil authorities in providing the services and protection to the people in their areas. My name is Major Amy Dishak. I'm from the Demological Response Center of Polish Armed Forces. And uh, we are here with my uh, soldiers uh, to uh, make a, no, a next step uh, <coughs> in our cooperation with uh, uh, soldiers from uh, Illinois National Guard. Uh, this cooperation started uh, five years ago. Last year we had a um, uh, big uh, exercise in uh, Poland, near Warsaw, and this year uh, we have a great opportunity to participate in exercising Chicago. Great That's a partnership <laughs> uh, to be between here. Uh, Illinois National Yeah, and Guard people need to realize it's not just the you know Polish troops. We got troops from. All right, thank you, Bill. From numerous countries uh -huh. that were that were training in these types of same exercises and. And it's just money down the drain, if you ask me, and, and just more I, things I that get escalated. I listen to the tone escalated. of the voice when people are being interviewed. Mm -hmm. the, the pauses, the ums, um, the, the nervousness. Mm -hmm. When someone's nervous when they speak, um, you can kind of pick up on that. Uh, if you uh, tap into the sound acoustics of someone's voice, you can hear that nervousness. 
Uh, it's also important to study body language of say, sure. our local leaders, whether it's Mayor Adams or whether it's the president, um, past and current, and mm -hmm. uh, people that are going to be running in 2012, to read the mannerisms and always learn to read the energy coming from the eyes. Very important stuff to do. For sure. We've got um, pictures of uh, Kissinger. Yeah. Full blown up. You can just see the <laughs> Rockefeller. Yeah, I don't know how you can look into those people's eyes and and not you know see just see tear and and whore and and all of the you know atrocities that they've committed in the past. It's it's amazing. We were talking about this one earlier. China blocks Egypt searches on microblogs. And what I want to say about uh, our internet being censored to a certain degree. Yeah, we have our opinions out there on YouTube. And I have my stuff out there, and other people have their stuff out there, and you're going to be putting content out there. But what I really want to see is what are the conspiracy theories uh, in, in China, for example? Um, what are they talking about? What are they concerned about? How do they view America? Uh, how really are they perceiving the situation right now? And I find it interesting how we're not really seeing that perspective. We're really not seeing that side. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to talk about this more in the coming shows, though, about how America is playing this role temporarily. Uh, but it's also going to take a fall, and uh, we're meant to take the fall along with this country because they're trying to say we owe all this money for all the things that they've done. Uh, and then you see this rise of China, not by accident, but by design. And so now with what's going on in Idaho, a lot more things are making sense. We've been sold down the road, and we've got to absolutely get prepared. That's why I'm over at the PPC Tuesday through Saturday helping people out uh, from uh, 10 to 6. That's when we're open. And uh, I should uh, mention some announcements. Uh, we're going to have some events, but I'll do that later on. Um, but um, we have uh, this story here, Bill, track number three. So we have uh, lots of stuff going on in the world, and apparently there was a bombing uh, at an airport in Moscow. And, uh, you know, Cubono, who benefits Russia, they have their own so-called war on terror. Uh, and all these drills they're doing under the guise of fighting terrorism. And so right on cue, as they're moving into their own police state, again, Russia's not outside of this new world order system. They're very much a part of it. We're seeing these same things happening literally all over the planet. Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely not outside of uh, anywhere around the world. It's even the, the countries that, that want to think they're outside of it are, are certainly going to be pulled into it in the future if they're not already into it. We, uh, you, you kind of have to look at, at, at what, uh, what countries have been, have been trying to do against the United States and what, you know, what the history has been with how, how they've, you know, helped out, uh, you know, the big business in America and how big business has helped them out and, and if, if they've been, you know, committing these things in the past, then what, who's to say they aren't going to do it in the future? Absolutely. And so we're seeing this great awakening all over the planet to uh, the tyrannical system that mm -hmm. many of the people of the world are under. And so we have to, of course, try to change what we can on the local level and be prepared for a scenario in the future. We have to take back our own government peacefully. Some people are going to attempt to do it forcefully. But if we do it mindfully and we build community, we shouldn't have to involve ourselves or uh, in, in, in the violence <laughs> and some of the problems that other people are going to be experiencing if we think and we plan ahead. Yeah. Um, that's why we're going to have some classes at the PPC coming in. And again, Portland, Oregon, uh, Joint Task Force. Um, there was um, a friend of mine named Mike Smith associated with We Are Change Portland. And uh, there's a couple people associated with We Are Change Portland in town. And there was some sort of um, a public comment recently in Portland where uh, some statements were made and made it to Infowars.com about the whole ridiculousness uh, the, the whole insanity of the situation and Mike made the point uh, where he said I, I missed the day where a terrorist actually had to make a bomb himself yeah now now the uh, 